In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to use Color Finale, which is uh, Denver Riddle's color grading program inside of Final Cut. It's very superior to the tools that Final Cut has. And the first thing I'm going to do is open up uh, Color Finale. And it's in the Effects browser once you download it. And now I'm going to open up the Tools palette. We've got four tools that are useful that here. Of course you've got your color wheels and they have uh, exposure controls as well and at the end you can see saturation over there. And then you've got your standard curves which are uh, tremendously useful. And here's a new thing I've never seen before and these are vectors and with them you isolate and adjust colors within the image. Very cool. And then you have LUTs, lookup tables, that you can choose to use. We're not going to use any today. We're just going to use those three other tools to see if we can grade this footage. This is very flat footage shot with the GYLS 300 JVC 4K camera. But again, this is shot in 1080p. First thing I'm going to do is go into the color wheels. I'm going to do a little adjustment on the exposure. I don't see any need to really uh, adjust the colors with the wheels at all at this point. And we're going to do our saturation later. So that sort of looks okay. Okay, now we're going to uh, we're going to go up here and check out our colors. And uh, they're very well balanced, as you can see. They're uh, not quite filling up the... There we go. So anyway, I did a little lift there, and it's getting better. Uh, now I'd like to actually even out the green and the blue, make it perfectly even at this point. And I'm doing that with the curves, of course. That's kind of a down and dirty adjustment but it sort of gets me there so and as you can see we've uh, changed our exposure so I'm going to see if I can pull that down a little bit before I go any further you can always change things you can always make things pop later on and uh, the thing I'm going to pull down use the master curve there and create just a little bit of contrast in that image. It could use a little bit more than was actually shot with. Alright, so that's that's pretty good. And as you can see, we're looking at our vectors now. And um, our red color is quite, our skin tone is quite over too red, too far. And um, it's also not very saturated, duh, of course. So uh, let's see, what are we going to do about that? Uh, well, one of the things that, first thing that I'd like to do is to go to these vectors. And I'm going to start with the red. And you'll be able to see how you can isolate colors here. Here's the red and up the slider. You have three sliders there. You see, oh, that's a terrible magenta. And then, um, and uh, when you run it down there, of course, you look like the incredible video Hulk. And so I'm going to move it pretty toward the green a little bit, add some yellow into the red. And you see we've taken some of the red out. And notice we're on the skin tone line now. We're straight up that line. And that's looking good as far as the tone goes. Now I'm going to go into the regular Final Cut to boost the saturation. I do that because I can really isolate those more easily, for me anyway, um, with uh, lows, mids, and highs. Generally, I just change the mids and the highs. So, all right, now we're back. We're starting to get some real color in there. Very cool, and you can see we're moving up the color line to show we've got an increase in saturation. And, you know, we really need to adjust that exposure, it's still on the high side. Our colors are good. 
All right. Uh, get to the vectors. There we go, to the vector. And now I'm going to actually take the red and I'm going to move it further over to the yellow side. And you see I'm getting starting a little bit jaundiced there. God forbid. But I'm going to take the yellow now. And you notice on the yellow, see, every, way down there it turns green. And up there it turns red. So I'm going to put some of the red back in. A little red tone there with the yellow and I'm going to boost my saturation and the other thing about these uh, vectors is you, that's wonderful is you can uh, not just change the color shading but you can also change the luminosity and the saturation super super cool adjustments and let's see what should we do next We'll check our curves. Um, and uh, our vector scope is looking real good. And we go back to our illuminance. And, um, well, I tried this, but this is a mistake. I shouldn't, I shouldn't try to make this adjust. No, it's never gonna, never gonna fly. We'll get that right back and see if we can pull that down and get, retain our saturation and I'm just going to pull it all down there in the color wheels uh, controlling the exposure there and now we're starting to it's you know a little on the bright side from what I'm used to but it's better and um, give the face a little bit of luminance there um, by boosting the red and we're going to go to the blue now and we're going to adjust the shirt because the shirt is not quite the right color and um, my blue shirt is has a little bit of greenish tint to it and as you can see uh, we're going to cyan can do a lot your yellow up there at the top and then you go into a deep a deeper blue down there so we're going to make an adjustment with the cyan and it looks pretty good of course you can fiddle with this all day i think the green is okay magenta i don't think there's any um thing we can do in this particular image to affect um, affect it with magenta one way or the other and um, all right I think that's uh, that's working out fine so uh, here we are all finished up and this is the video that we end up with of course we can always make improvements there's always room for improvements but I'm going to stop it right here so you can see Right there's what we've ended up with so far. Now let's take a look at what we looked like before. There we go. That's the flat profile we began with. And that's what we end up with. Pretty cool. And you'll notice that uh, I did move a little bit to the right side of the red there. I kind of like a little bit of red, but uh, too much red drives me crazy. These vector, um, this, uh, these, this vector uh, tool here uh, really enables me to correct a lot of footage that I would otherwise hate, but have to put up on the internet anyway. And um, I'm shooting this, by the way, or I've shot this footage with the JVC GY LS 4K cinema camera camcorder. It's a brand new camcorder. It shoots in 4K. But I shot this in uh, ProRes 422 uh, high definition 1080p. And uh, what you're seeing here, of course, is a screen capture, so you don't really see the quality of the video or anything like that. But you, I think, can get an idea of how I deal with skin tones with this uh, wonderful uh, color grading program. It's uh, you get it at colorgradingcentral.com and uh, it's uh, worth its weight in gold. 
And as far as this video goes, I think we're pretty close to where we need to be to publish something that looks decent. This program has enabled me to publish a lot of stuff that I like rather than stuff that I hate, especially when it comes to skin tones. And I'm putting this out, hoping, hoping it'll be helpful to you too. Obviously, I'm not a professional videographer, and I'm sure there are many critical things could be said. If you don't like this video, then put up your own. I'd love to see it. And if you do have some helpful comments, please leave them below. I really appreciate you watching. And as Forrest Gump said, that's all I have to say about that.